already know the vibes over here. We got 60 FPS. We got my boy Kaiser representing the EMGG taking ninth place at Frosty Faustin. Okay, I'm not gonna keep up with the Angie, but seriously, um, I need to address a few things. And yep, it is part of the title. It's literally the freaking title. Hack it. So from what I understand, of course, my old Twitter and my old Discord got hacked. You we do be do on um, you know whatever. And now I notice that they tried to take over my YouTube, but within you know the time frame, I still had control of my freaking account. So I already got that figured out. I already got that freaking fixed. But um yeah, there's something that I want to let you know about which I noticed um. It isn't because I haven't put in two-factor authentication. And the reason I say that is because I already put in two-factor auth authentication within my YouTube. And thanks to those dumbasses, I'm pretty much almost, you know, down a number. So, um, congratulations. You you pretty much just made my life harder for me, my YouTube life. But um, this is what I'm doing to make sure that no one else doesn't have to go through the same thing I'm, I went through. So, um, this is the warning. This is the freaking warning. Oh, by the way, new setup. But I'm going to talk about that later. This is the warning. If you use an email that is connected to your social media for business, make another email for business. Because here's what I found out. I found out that these people that are hacking and scamming with cryptocurrency, which is why, you know, when it comes to crypto, only, you know, pretty much anything with Cash App. But here's the deal. Anything that deals with crypto and NFTs pretty much are, you know, the targets and whatnot. And the thing is this. What I understand... Well, wait. Did I just say they're the targets? No. They're pretty much the users. Whoever is using cryptocurrency and NFTs. And the reason I say that is because not long ago, I started, you know, expressing my opinion on NFTs. Found out that when I open an email because I, I have to open up my emails and everything, you know, because I don't know what the hell's going on. Turns out those emails have a virus called Cookie Something. And it's a virus that cannot be detected and it can also go right past two factor authentication. And pretty much that's what happened to me and that's what happened to Shock for the Win. If you don't know who Shock for the Win, he is the god of G Field. Why did I call him the god? Because he have Johnny Sins always backing up his code. Yes, the Johnny Sins, the firefighter, the firefighter, the doctor, the plumber. He's everything. I'm telling you. But besides that, I just want to give you guys a warning. I'm going to be doing the same thing. If you have like your email connected to your social media that you use for business, make another email and make that use for business too. And the reason why I say that is because of one problem. If it's linked up, they will find a way. But hey, well, I know they might even try some other stuff like, you know, with a game and everything. That's the same thing that happened with Shop. He was going to promote a game and everything, and it was legit. Like, the emails that I get, I normally know how to go past them and whatnot. But the emails I've been getting have been really legit, and once I get in touch with them, it's like, yeah, nothing. And also, just to let you know, the virus also has it to where when you open that email and once the whole thing happens, they, they erase that email. Yeah, I literally, literally found out everything that they done. And it's a pretty much, it's from Russia. Don't ask why I know, don't ask how I know. Just know that it's a group from Russia. So I'm just putting out this warning. Just switch it up and hopefully you'll be safe. But besides that, um, yeah, new desk, new setup. Kaiser got ninth place. Frosty was fun to watch. If things go right, hopefully I'll be able to go next year. But besides that, be on the lookout for a stream tomorrow with the giveaway. Later.